this is so cool. It's an actual food street. Yeah, food street. Acha, so we're at the backside of the Raul Pindi Stadium. And there's just restaurants like everywhere on both sides. Oh, so cool. Must be like 20 or 30 restaurants here. Oh, that's a cool place, man. It's such a cool place. Wow. So now Carl, the call is upon you. You need to choose what you what you need to eat. Wow. wow. This place is cool man. Oh that's so funny. So you can pay this guy to free the birds, you know, as an act of as we say in our you know, kindness. Is... But I mean he'll catch them again. Maybe they'll fly back to his home and he'll just bring them back here. <laughs> Tocello. Yeah. It's so a bit of a yeah. uh, scam, I guess. A uh, bit of a way to make money. Yeah, it's their way of making money. This is not helping anybody freeing those exactly. birds. It's better to donate yes. to something. Yeah, exactly. I would be better off donating it to someone else. But I understand what he's trying to sell. Yes, yes, just, I get it. It's just a bit funny. <laughs> oh, look at the barbecue, bro. Let's go here. What's the name of this place? It is, it is, it is. Assalamu alaikum, Ji. Oh, yeke, mutton? Yes, this is Dumba. Oh, this is sheep. Sheep. Wow. Dumba. And it is called Patatika, right? Patatika kete lala? Looks good. Oh, the butchery. So, that's yeah. the thing about Pakistan. The meat is so fresh. A lot of the restaurants have their own butchers just cutting it up and they cut it and you eat it straight away. So, we've ordered 2 kg of sheep. Yes. And we've got ribs and shanks. And now, yes. our friend over here, the butcher, is going to cut it up for us. This is kind of how fresh. It is. It's gonna get, get weighed there. It's so cool how they cut it on. It's like a tree stump, basically, no? It's actually timber wood. Uh, or, or either timber wood or oak wood. And one thing you're gonna notice here is, I think this is like uh, an Afghani restaurant, no? Yes. So it has the same vibe, and it is actually inspired by Afghan, especially Kabul. Uh, and then you know it evolved from there, and then it reached Peshawar. And so you're gonna see that there's less spices on the meat compared to Indian and Pakistani food. It's gonna be just, you know, it's own fat and a little bit of salt. Ah. That's it. No spices added. And when you bite into the fat, it's ah. so juicy and, and yum. It, it, is, it is gonna be Himalayan salt, not that ordinary or, you know, iodized salt. I'm no. having Pakistani salt from the salt. nearby Kevra salt Kevra mines. Pines, yes. And I made a video there. Yeah, okay. yeah, well. These are the fat chunks. Oh, I see. So he is actually, you know, barbelling those, those ribs with its own fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not putting oil on, okay, guys? No. He's putting fat on. And nothing you can processed. eat these fat uh, chunks. Yes, you can. Yes. And it's so tasty. And they will also serve you the fat chunks as well. Wow, that's so cool. Oftentimes you have meat. Then fat chunk, then meat, then meat, then fat yes, chunk, then that meat. that is called patatika. Yeah. Which you will be enjoying in Peshawar. Yeah. As you are going, the real authenticity of this is in Peshawar. I had it last night at a place called New Afghan Restaurant in Islamabad. But, but you will go to Peshawar, you will forget everything. <laughs> no, I yes. think it was pretty good there, man. He knows how to cook. <laughs> That's our batch. Okay, and what is this? This is salt. And namak. I'm going to talk a little Urdu. Excuse me, can I know your channel? Yeah, Carl Rock. Carl Rock. And so there's the spice. Just a little bit of salt, okay? This is all about meat quality. <laughs> And just to show the spices, just namak, just salt, okay? That's it. Good, no? 
It's all about meat quality and meat freshness. And now here's our meat coming on the grill. Incredible, man. So we have a kilo of shanks and a kilo of uh, ribs. You know, bro, the way these guys are cooking meat is not different from my country in New Zealand. Really? We don't make it super spicy. We just use very few spices. And yeah. it's all about meat quality. In India, we just have spicy as the super spicy meat. As spicy as it can get. And I, I, I miss just the simple cooking. And, and, and if you ever, ever, uh, you know, come across the, the Karachi cuisine, yeah. people of Karachi, no, nobody eats spices and paprika better than them. Really? They will be sweating, yet they will be eating those spices. <laughs> they like it hot. Really hot. I mean, if you have an authentic Karachi biryani, you will be, you know, just needing lots of tons of milk to actually, you know, quench your thirst and that hotness on your tongue. In India, the hottest food I had was in a place called Andhra Pradesh. Oh, AP. Yeah, these guys eat the hottest food in India and it was so tasty. Oh, really? And by the way, what was the dish that you ate? Oh, everything's spicy. Their dal is spicy. Yeah. All right, let's go and sit down. Yep. And this will be coming to us soon. Thank you, G. <laughs> Shukriya. So, bro, do you want to visit India? You were just telling me. Having been linked in Dubai, I do have that, you know, that cue, like that curiosity in me that I do want to visit India, especially in the old Delhi. And yeah. New Delhi where they even speak Urdu till date. Is, is that right? Yeah, yeah, there's Urdu signs, you know. In Delhi, we have four languages on, on, on the street signs. So like oh. Hindi, English, Punjabi and Urdu. And Urdu. So I actually have that, you know, that urge in me to actually see the ah. city where Urdu actually generated, where it was born. And then I do follow some of the YouTube channels like Spicy Lear. Huh. I watch that guy and I just, you know, explore through his eyes, through, yeah. through his eyes, you know, all that authentic cuisines of Delhi. Yeah, please come one day. So, please come and visit hopefully, us. Hopefully, yes. I would love to visit. I, I would love to visit. I would love to visit there. So, you know, <laughs> in order to feel relaxed, you know, Instead of making you, you know, like making yourself upright and straight, just lay back, easy it off, uh, just chill. Now you can feel that the pressure from your legs have eventually gone off. Yeah. You actually feel more comforted now. It's really good. Can I eat like this? No. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Just for relaxing. Uh -huh. So once you have your meal, just have that cover, just lay back, take some sips, yeah, enjoy the ambience and you will be relaxed and if you want then you can actually you know just straighten your legs the moment you will straighten your legs <laughs> you will be you know then I'm that, going to sleep exactly then you are just gonna say nah I'm just gonna sleep leave it everything so let's just judge if this kabuli pilau is good enough oh it looks good let me show everybody this is kabuli pilau yes it looks perfect it looks absolutely perfect oh and just tell us about this um, seating stance I'm sitting like this and apparently this is the best way to sit to eat. According to the prophet. According to the prophet, okay, cool. Which has its medical reasoning that your appendix is free. Bismillah. Oh look the meat's here, everything's here. Wow. Yes. So we have Kabuli Palau. Just the ordinary salad. Yeah, the salad. Beef chutney. Chutney. Raita. Raita. We have big naan and open and this, bro. Open it up yourself, Carl. Go ahead. Oh, it smells so good, man. Oh, wow. It does. The aroma is so good. Oh, oh it smells like beautiful barbecue. I love oh, it. Allah. Look at this. Look at this. Bismillah. Yum. And we have the chow. We know, have these rib. Are the ribs. Rib. And we do have the shanks as well. And this they is like, this is like shank. No, there are shanks in it. Oh, right? yeah. That's rib. The shanks are these cut up bits. Just need to you know, ribs. Oh. Just dig it out yourself. Okay. So, look at this. Let's see how it tastes now. Take Lelo, Lelo, Lelo. Everybody, starting off with you, have a taste test first. Tell us how does it taste. Okay, let's see, let's see. You cannot eat earlier than you. <laughs> you <Yeah>. can eat. <laughs> no, we cannot. That's not the tradition. It has to be the guest first. 
Oh, there's meat inside the palau. Yes, as well. Acha, look at that. Big chunk of meat inside the palau. That's from the Thai. Okay, I'll quickly try. Yeah. Let you First, know. you just go raw with the meat. Mm. Very light in flavor, the palau. Okay, let's try rib. Yeah. Just bite it off. Let me just show you. Yeah. Wow, it's juicy. Mmm. What do you say? Oh my god. I told you we will be between chunky and the tender. Mm. So this is how you know the patans actually like to be. It's Eat perfect. It's very juicy. It's super yes. juicy. And you only get the taste of the meat and a little saltiness. It's amazing. And the meat quality is good. Like when I eat meat, I want to taste the meat. I don't want to taste the salad so much, you know? Exactly. That's how you get the Guys, get please dig in, please. You know what the best part is? The the fat. This is, this is what matters. Oh. These are like this is like kebab, like yeah, so it has meat that's been skewered. These are the shirts, which batters. Mm. Out of this world, out of this world. This is bus, bus, bus. Bus, bus, no I like the rib. <laughs> okay, okay, now I get it. We're just finishing off with chai now and yeah, the amazing thing was, this is really kind of close to how we barbecue back in New Zealand with very few spices. And it's all about the flavor of the meat. That's what I like about Iranian food and Afghani food. It's just very light in spices. Yeah, it's good, man. I love masala dada too, but this is just so close to New Zealand. How they cook. Sometimes you need to be off, off the masala. Yeah, 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 you can't. Who is eating masala? Yeah, yeah, Finny boys. So how they're planning to bite? 